This is Twit. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a call for help. Here he is on the line from 29 Palms, California. And I think he's counted every single one of them. Christopher. Hi, Christopher. Hey. How's it going? So we were, uh, Patrick and I, before the show, talking about the name 29 Palms. Are there mm -hmm. more than 29 Palms in 29 Palms? You know, it's probably less now because over time, you know, with droughts and uh, earthquakes and things, the water level has dropped in the oasis. Oh, my so God. So there's fewer. So there's actually quite a bit fewer palms now in 29 palms. Fewer palms. <laughs> uh -huh, Not more, yeah. fewer. Oh, my God. It's always yeah. San Ignacio. But it's a beautiful, it's like near Palm Springs, right? It's a beautiful area. Uh, we're about an hour, actually, oh, okay. uh, east and north of Palm Springs. And it's, as you're going out towards Joshua Tree. Yeah, it's beautiful. The town, the town. Beautiful, yeah. And you go through Yucca Valley and then Joshua Tree, and then we're the last kids on the block uh, at 29 Palms. How nice. Did you grow up there? Oh, no. No, I'm actually an East Coaster or a Connecticut Yankee, but I was uh, moved out to L.A. back in 88. Uh, I've been out here since then, and then nice. this is my getaway weekend place. Nice. I need a getaway weekend place. You have a getaway weekend yeah. place. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> right there. there you go. Welcome it's to right my there. getaway weekend place. What can yeah, we do nice for you, Chris? Nice thing. <laughs> what can we do for you, Christopher? <laughs> Okay, well, I've been uh, considering a switch out of Apple platform to Ooh. Microsoft platform. Um, yeah, I know, but uh, it's okay. partly it's because of doing landscape design work. And, you know, just in the world of design and other uh, types of things that are more AutoCAD friendly, it's better, I think, and it seems like everyone else is on more of a PC platform in business world. Um, you know, maybe not so much in the art and design platform, but for landscape design, I need to know how to be able to use AutoCAD. So it's just a little bit more uh, friendly to go with the PC platform and be able to share things more easily, streamlining easily with people on the PC platform. Well, and, and Apple hasn't updated the Mac Mini in how long? How many years? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. A NUC is very much like a Mac Mini. It's actually right. smaller. It's yeah. Intel's new unit of computing, the worst name ever. No, but I have, <laughs> I have, uh, yeah. knock, 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 knock. Uh, but yeah. it's basically a mini. It's a mini PC, right? They're great little boxes, yeah. right? They have a, the tiniest motherboard you've ever seen. You can get some fairly powerful ones with like four seven processors. I have an i seven NUC. I think it's got thirty two gigs of RAM. It's my and I use it as a server. It's my home server. Right. By the way, it has oh. Canary tokens on it, so don't try to log into it. <laughs> now I don't know though. If I would make my NUC an AutoCAD desk workstation, you need a, a graphics mm -hmm. card for that, right? To really do justice. How, you know, of course, the answer always is, mm -hmm. it'll do it. How, how much time do you have? Right. Right? It's not going to not right. work. It's just going to be how yeah. slow. Well, it depends. Be. Okay, so it's funny because I was looking this up for... Um, I was looking this up for, for Photoshop. Photoshop, and similar, and right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's interesting about right. Photoshop... So there's a uh, Puget Systems um, has some really fantastic uh, benchmarking they've done, and um, I should have I should have plugged my system into the network here, but I don't know if you can see like th there's individual things inside of Photoshop. You can hold it up. For yeah. example, right. um, this is uh, a Smart Sharpen, and if you never use Smart Sharpen, you're not going to care about the integrated graphics in that Nook. But if you do use mm. Smart Sharpen, uh, it's like 45 seconds with the integrated graphics, mm. and it's like eight seconds with a 10 so to 50, in other words, or it four works, seconds with a, you know, But it's 10 times slower or yeah. more. And that's, yeah. I mean, and that's one of the challenges right now, right? Because if, because we were talking about this on Tech Thing this week, um, how Bitcoin and Ethereum mining have essentially made it impossible to buy a GPU or build a gaming PC. <laughs> the high-end GPUs PC right are now. gone from the, because everybody's buying them for their you Bitcoin know. mining. <laughs> we have the, the Bitcoin they can't actually mine without an AC. So let me tell you this, the, the system requirements. Okay. This is what Autodesk says for AutoCAD 2016. Right, Windows 10. At. Uh, you needed a Pentium 4. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't think that I would recommend that. Or an Athlon 64. Uh, now, they do suggest 2 gigs of RAM. Again, <laughs> right. uh, 4 gigs for 64 bits. So that's not very helpful. Their minimum right. is ridiculous. Yeah, 1024 by 768. You, know, you don't want to do CAD. What's, what's uh -oh. nice, though, is, is our friends over at... At, at Puget Systems, who I love the fact that they do a lot of benchmarking, they share it. Um, 
they point out that if you're not doing 3D models on the screen, you don't particularly need a GPU. Right. However, if you're creating AutoCAD models for clients, you're probably doing a lot of 3D modeling. On you're not GPU. doing, are, well, that's the question. You no. want to learn it, but yeah. are you going to do walkthroughs or fly-throughs and things we're, like that? No. I no, mean, were you thinking actually about... almost 2D because it's really landscape design is more on a 2D you know, platform, so it's... I don't have to be go more to more than adequate feet. for that. Yeah, I think for for that it should be fine. I mean, the other thing to think about is is right now, you know, you can't up. You basically you buy a Nook and you might be able to swap the hard drive. You can probably put memory right. into it depending on which model you get. But you're right. done. So you also want to sort of buy the best Nook. You it's like buying a laptop right. where you're not really upgrading. Can you it. put a GPU in a Nook? Not really. Could you use a Thunderbolt 3 external GPU? Do they even make Thunderbolt? I'll be 3 honest Nooks? with you. It's it, it's funny mm -hmm. you should bring that up because we were talking about external uh, Thunderbolt GPU enclosures on TechThing this week. Of course you were. And here's the thing. You you can buy one for like, you know, an Akidio Node, I think, costs like $250. Razor's got one for like $600. Um, there's a couple others out there. Some of them have disappeared. Mm. The problem is, is one, you're spending like $250 to five or $600 for the box, and then you're oh. buying a GPU. Although there's one from... Uh, there's one, I can't think of the name of it, where they actually have a, a mobile 1070 built into it for like 600 bucks, yeah. which is probably the cheapest way to get a 1070. If you do need uh, GPU acceleration mm. right now, you probably want to take a look at um, you probably want to take a look at a laptop with built-in GTX mobile graphics, which seem to be more available oh. than the desktop graphics. So if you think like hmm. I'm going to be doing Photoshop, I'm going to be doing Premiere, um, I will be able, I will need to do sort of 3D stuff inside of AutoCAD. A laptop right now is probably your best hmm. option because you know the $800 system I built last April with a $400 right. GTX 1070 I, I bought a couple months later, is now, I want to say, if you can find the GPU, is going to be an $1,800 system. Now, oh, wow. i got to say, here is something the chat room recommended. Gigabyte also makes Nux mini PCs. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't look quite as small as the Nux we've been looking at, but this is their gaming hmm. version with a GTX 950. They also have a pro version with a GTX 1050i, now that isn't really going to be a nux sized device because just it's going to yeah. be more like a rack mount kind of PC. But maybe yeah, that wouldn't that bother you too much. I mean, it's you know it's got to be long enough to hold a 1050 Ti, but that's a heck of a. In other words, yeah. if you're willing to well, spend shuttle, the money, you can do it. Shuttle makes one with a 1060 What's, built, a GTX 1060 wow. built into it. Wow. Well, I you know, what was the price actually, tag on that last one? Uh, what's the shuttle cost? I don't know if I have a. Let me buy this. Let me just buy it and see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gee. yeah. Why not? It looks you like know? you're looking at thirteen hundred dollars sure. for that. Yeah, that's the problem. I don't. Yeah. I. You know, you saw the minimum requirements. All that means is, yeah. if you're going to run it, it will run on this something yeah. this low and slow. Uh, right, you know, right. Get get. I think the new mm -hmm. Intel Iris graphics are are. They're certainly not GPU, but they're better than the old well, ones. Well, I mean, is Iris I, Pro's pretty good. You can get motherboard graphics. It's going to get you in 2D a lot of the way. Yeah. But I if really you start think. having to play around with Photoshop and stuff, you're Are you be... doing Photoshop 2 or just AutoCAD? Uh, just AutoCAD right now, but it would be, you know, I'd like to, I do a lot of digital photography, so that's another platform, oh, another... Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Is. Lightroom would... doesn't run fast on anything. Did you, wanna, did you want the Nuck because it's so small? Partly because it's small. I mean, um, partly my space when I'm working out here, it's kind of a little bit, well, it's not really that confined, but I just want something that's not very visible and I can yeah. quickly like and undo it and put it in a safe spot, you know, as opposed to a bigger desktop, but you don't want to move that around tower. once it's there. Yeah. 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 Right. But I'll, I would almost say if I, I would, you know, is the nooks are cool. And for example, for a friend of mine that does training and he puts six of them in a bag and it's super easy for him mm. to go to 17 right. airports in 19 days, yeah. you know, with all of his training system, nooks are fantastic right. for that. I would say, you know, I would rather you, you went with like, you know, a mini ITX system or something where you could get a very, very tiny case for like it. Like a shuttle. Like right. a shuttle or, or there's so many options out there. And then mm. um, you, can, you, know, you can build yourself, because right now GPUs have dropped so much in price over the last year. Um, DDR memory, which has gone up in price, but is still not the biggest component. Can you, can you bring me up to speed on the GPUs? What's the GPU stand for? <laughs> Sorry. Well, uh, the, that's graphics, the graphics card. Yeah, the, the, the 3D accelerator. Okay, card. that's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, in the Sorry, last in the last year, around. they've gone from like, in the last I don't know, eight ten months, 
a $400 GPU that should have been selling for $380 is now selling for $1,000 if you can actually find one for Because of Bitcoin sale. mining. Because of, of <laughs> Ethereum mining, really. What about, or uh, Ethereum, what about, did you see at CES any uh, new, new machines, NUC or not, with the new Intel slash AMD processor? Because Intel announced those the Those are going to be showing up in laptops uh, in the next couple months. They're coming soon. There's KB yeah. Lake G. Intel is partnering, weirdly enough, with yeah. AMD to, to yeah. put uh, uh, an AMD graphics processor in the chip. Yeah. It, have, mm. you, have you guys looked at the benchmarking on Twitch? They don't exist yet. The, so it's too early to mm. say. Okay. Yeah, I mean, what, what I would say is, you know, I've got... I've got a you know like an S4 mini nfc-systems.com and uh, you know this is maybe not the one you want to to, to buy cuz it's oh, a pretty fancy case. Oh look how small that is. But that's yeah, a I mean, mini ITX case. And yeah, that's I mean literally I have one of these sitting on my desk at home. It's incredibly tiny. Yeah. It supports like an 8-inch GPU. But I just hmm. want to say like getting a getting a, a mini ITX system hmm. You know, you you don't have to buy this fancy case, but you can you can have a very very small, easy to hide system that should you find yourself in a year going, oh, I really wish I had GPU acceleration for mm -hmm. you my could desktop. Add it later. You can add it later because it's got a slot. Oh, okay. Because like the Nooks, you got a Nook, and that's all you can yeah. do with the Nook except yeah. for put a bigger yeah. hard drive in it or maybe some more memory. So or this is yeah. he asked what what it costs, but it really depends. We're just talking a form factor mini ITX. Yeah. Mini ITX is essentially like it's a very small okay. motherboard, and then you just like put yeah. regular components into it. So, but oh, yeah, that's okay. the key: is it holds regular so components. Yes. So it's still a build-yourself type of system. Yeah. Well, you could, I mean, you and could go to Newegg and yeah. get a bare bones mini ITX, <coughs> kit, you know, hmm. system, right? Or buy a, or buy if you want to buy a, a, an already assembled system, just buy an inexpensive, like find the smallest desktop system that Dell or HP or Puget Sound or anybody else will <laughs> will sell right. to you, and buy that because I don't want you to f turn around in a year and be like, you know, I got this nine hundred dollar Nook, and I can't right. fix the things that make it slow. Yeah, yeah. That's the part that, you know... I really like that solution. Sure. I'm looking, uh, you know, motherboards are under $200. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get a motherboard for like 80 bucks. Yeah, for really? the mini ITX wow. form factor. Yeah. Here's a bare bones, 459, 450 bucks with a uh, Intel uh, <laughs> processor, motherboard, mm -hmm. DDR3. Um, there's quite a variety. Uh, Two ninety nine. So who makes this ITX? This Who's it's a standard. It's, it's a made standard. by everybody. It's like an ATX oh. motherboard, except it's a smaller spec. So, I see. And hmm. and so, the nice thing is that it will handle a standard. It's got PCI Express in there, <laughs> so it'll handle a PCI Express uh, graphics board. I could down the yeah, road. I, mean, if I you could take to. my you know Ryzen seven eighteen hundred X and put it on a mini ITX motherboard. That's they, pretty. They make cool. motherboards for that. So. That's 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 pretty cool. You know, I would I basically though I'd say buy the smallest. Um, Twisted Mister, you have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> He's talking to the chat room. Don't don't take it. <laughs> Sorry. <personally. laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm running 90 watt <laughs> CPUs on many ITX motherboards. Yeah. They're fine. It's just a small size for a motherboard. Um, yeah. There we go. Nooks typically use 50 watt CPUs. Totally with you on that one. Twisted so you can use higher wattage yeah. CPUs. You, you can, can essentially it's just a very cards. small motherboard. You know, you just mm -hmm. want to make sure you know you get one that actually has a PCI Express slot. I mean, I would say even not just buy the least expensive desktop that'll do what you want to do, and then if you need to upgrade it in a year, you have that op opportunity. Like I love Nooks, but mm -hmm. you know you can't really upgrade them if you want to or need to, and that can be really really frustrating. I'm just sure. looking at PC Perspective. Your partner Ryan Shroud on mm -hmm. This Week in Computer Hardware runs a great site. He of course reviews. <laughs> uh, mini ITX. This is a Mini ITX uh, motherboard from MSI. He mm -hmm. reviews all of these. I wonder, does he in his hardware leaderboard? I wonder if he has an ITX or Mini ITX system. They're Probably pretty much not. all ATX. They're all standard, uh, yeah. big size ATX. But uh, that would be the kind of thing to look for. It sounds like you want to build your own. Yeah, I just like the idea of the, uh, being able to put it together and it's a little less it seemed like it initially it was a little less expensive to do it go that route as opposed to something that's already you know ready to go plug and play but um well i would i would absolutely use new egg as a resource mm -hmm. they have uh, okay. all the components but yeah. also a, get a bare what they call a bare bones system right. which doesn't yet have what the ram it doesn't yeah. have some of the components well, and then you can yeah. start with that <laughs> it's all together 
and then add the stuff that yeah. you needed on top and, of that. And take a look at PCPer.com okay. is the website. PCPer.com slash leaderboard is Ryan's okay. website. And it'll give you a list of builds. And I would look at those builds, you know, pull the GPU out for now because you don't really need a GPU. I have this feeling mm -hmm. when you get an email from somebody I know that use AutoCAD, <laughs> they're going to be like, you idiot! What were you thinking? But but take a look at those builds and those will give you a good starting shopping list. You know, compare those mm -hmm. to what's available in the white boxes from, from Newegg and kind of, you know, ask some questions. Um, PC okay. Part Picker is an amazing resource for, for getting advice on what a good, uh, solid build is and have fun with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It does Great. seem like that's a better choice than going the NUC size. You're committed with it. It's like buying yeah. a laptop. Yeah. You're done. I got the NUC because I was just, I, I was going to run a server. It's basically running Minecraft. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I wanted something small. You know, it didn't take a lot of space, didn't have a lot of heat, and I could just plug into the network. It's running headless. Right. So it's just like a little box that's just running headless yeah, yeah. in my closet. That's a good use for that's a NUC. That's a perfect NUC use. I think mm. if you want what you're doing, you want a PC, one step yeah. up, that's all, the yeah. mini ITX. That's, a, that's actually a really good advice, I think. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I'll go that route and take a look at that and, uh, you know, noodle around on Newegg for sure. It nice. seemed like the... Probably the best place to go they for any kind of, of choices in there. and stuff. So yeah, and and, and yeah. I agree, PC Per is a great place too. Hey, thank you, Christopher. Great. All right, thanks Enjoy a lot, Enjoy your new uh, newfound nuck, newfound <laughs> hobby. <laughs> you know the problem Another is one. ITX. It doesn't it doesn't roll off the tongue like. Yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> thank you, Christopher. <laughs> I don't know. All right.